Hello and welcome back to a, another video. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about whether Final Fantasy XIV uh, is for you. Perhaps you're looking for your first MMO to play or you're, you're looking for a, a different MMO to try out. This game is absolutely brilliant and I love it and I recommend it but this game is not for everyone and I'm going to be talking about why it's not for everyone in this video so we're going to get to the first point we're going to talk about the aspects of the game that if you are if you like these aspects then you will like this game if you don't like these aspects you're probably not going to like this game and that's completely fine okay so we're going to go through um some aspects of the game that you may love and that you may hate okay depending on what type of gamer uh, you are and what kind of things that you value over other things and the first thing is are you a story first gamer i personally value story plot and narrative and characters over gameplay it's just the way that i am it's the way that i always have been there's there's plenty of games that i've played that have had subpar gameplay but had a phenomenal story that i've enjoyed immensely um that's not to say that the gameplay in Final Fantasy XIV is bad, because it's not bad, it's fantastic, but it is definitely a narrative-focused game, and you have to enjoy playing through a deep RPG. So if you're a fan of um, narrative-driven role-playing games, particularly if you're a fan of JRPGs, you will probably love this game. There's a lot of people who play Final Fantasy XIV purely as a single-player experience. They play through... The, the story quest part of the game and then they stop playing the game and they wait for more story quests to be released and they come back and they play through that and then they stop playing the game. People do play this game as just a, a role playing game as opposed to an MMO so you need to bear that in mind. If you like that, you will like this. If you don't, you probably won't. Right, next point. This game is a uh, PvE focused game. So if you're a PvE raider um, player like that, you're probably going to like this game. Uh, it's got incredible, diverse, crazy scenarios that you play through. Really inventive and fun um, instances and dungeon. There's also uh, various difficulties, really fun progression. One really important thing to mention in terms of the PV content is that every single class is viable. The class balance in this game is really, really good. So no matter what you play, you will be able to play your class at the end game. So if you are a PvE raider, um, you like dungeons or whatever, things like that, you're going to probably like the endgame progression in this game. Another a point why you may like this game is maybe you're a slightly more casual player. Um, I am a slightly more casual player, I will admit that, and this game is, is good for people like me and possibly like you. Now, it is a casual friendly game, but it's probably not as casual friendly as Guild Wars 2, but it is still probably more casual friendly than um, games like WoW, for example. There's no new random systems that you need to grind with every patch before you can get to certain content and things like that. There's nothing like that in the game at all. The only thing that you need to be up to date with is the main scenario quest. Now, if you are, like in the, the first point I said, if you are a story-focused gamer, then you're probably going to be up to date with the main scenario quest anyway. So, as long as you're up to date with the story, you can do all of the new content. Uh, if you're a casual gamer, you can come and go as you please. Um, even the, the director of the game, Yoshi P, said that he would rather people unsubscribe from the game for a time and play something else and come back when the game has content rather than giving them pointless things to do to keep them subscribed and it's entirely possible as I said like people leave and come back just to play the story you can leave and come back as you want to it is completely fine and you are not really penalized for it at all if you're a person who likes to play predominantly solo and you just love questing you can do that you can play through every single class and job um, on one character. I haven't really got into this yet, but the crafting um, is vast and um, phenomenal. I, I hear, it, like, crafting isn't a side system. Crafting is its own class, and you play through it like you do with the other classes. And it's something that I'm really looking forward to getting into and seeing how it works. So if you're a person who 
predominantly enjoy solo content or you enjoy working in the auction house or you enjoy questing and things like that there's plenty of stuff for you to do you and if you enjoy uh, doing m uh, mount runs and uh, farming dungeons and uh, getting glamour which is transmog um, for for to look cool or whatever there's plenty of things for you to do in this game plenty of things if that's your thing and that's my thing there's plenty of stuff for you to do another point now if you like this I guarantee you'll like this game Final Fantasy if you're a fan of Final Fantasy you'll probably like this game <laughs> it's pretty uh, basic and straightforward point if you've played game the Final Fantasy games before it's like those big surprise right <laughs> My only real question is, is why haven't you tried this yet? I mean, if you're not into MMOs, then fair enough, but like, this, you're gonna like this game. I, trust me, you'll like this game. Now, one negative point to the game is, and it's, it's something, again, that I can't comment on too much because I haven't had a go at it yet. I'm gonna be having a go at it and I'm gonna be filming it, but PvP in Final Fantasy XIV isn't really a thing. Um, there's, I've been told, there's a lot of long queues for PvP. People don't really take it too seriously. The, the, the gameplay is can feel slower. A lot of the abilities have animation locks, so when you push an ability, the ability doesn't fire off straight away. You have to get through the animation before it does the ability, so it kind of makes PvP a lot more difficult to get into. Um, obviously, there's gonna be people who love PvP in this game, and I'm not, like, if you love PvP, I'm happy for you um, but the general consensus is that PvP isn't really a great thing in this game there isn't like an esports arena scene or anything like this in this game at all so if that is you and you love PvP you're probably better off um, not playing this or maybe playing this as like a, a second MMO or a side game or whatever um, and maybe trying uh, ESO or um, Guild Wars 2 Black Desert Online if you're a whale, or um, WoW, to be honest, there's, WoW probably does it better than anybody else. Yeah, it's not really a PvP game, so if you're a PvP guy, um, probably not your thing. If you're a person who loves to grind and get to end game, a person that just likes to sit in dungeons and grind up to max level and then just get to end game, you can't do that in this game. Um, you have to play through the main scenario quest, which is why I say it's really important that you're a story focused gamer because if you're not you're really not gonna like this game you have to complete the main scenario quest to move through the content you have to be up to date with the main scenario quest before you move into the other expansions you can get to level 50 but you can't move on to heaven's war before you're up to date with the main scenario quest you have to get it done if you're a person who likes to just grind through the content and get to uh, max level the way that you like to do and you don't like questing and maybe you like doing it killing mobs or uh, dungeons or whatever this game probably isn't going to satisfy you i think there's these points may seem kind of obvious to some and i mean they are but the reason why i say these is because there seems to be a general consensus that final fantasy 14 is wow alternative it is like wow but set in a different universe and that is not true it's not like that at all the best way to describe Final Fantasy XIV is that it is a massively multiplayer, open world, Final Fantasy role playing game. Because that's exactly what it is. It says it on the box. <laughs> so if you're, if the idea of picture an open world, massively multiplayer Final Fantasy game, that's exactly what this is. It's entirely its own thing and it follows its own design. It's that's the entire point is its own thing so if you don't like jrpgs you don't like um long stories um ridiculously bombastic evil villains and things like that then this probably isn't going to be the game for you and that's completely okay because there's loads of other mmos that are great that you can play and that's fine like there's nothing wrong with liking this game but there's nothing wrong with not liking it either for people to like something people also need to not like it too and that is completely cool so if you do like this game and you have played it before why don't you tell me why in the comments below if you don't like this game also tell me why in the comments below um 
if you do think this game might be something that you're interested in trying, I've said it before, but there is a free trial um, that you can play completely for free. Um, if you wanted to play with me, I'm playing on the Light EU data center uh, in the world is Twintania, but as long as you're on the Light uh, data center, you can play with with me. If you like the video, um, give it a like. If you agree or disagree in, with anything I've said, let me know in the comments. If I've said something that's factually incorrect, let me know and I will pin the comment. Be sure to follow my social media, subscribe, follow my Twitch, blah, blah, blah. I've got tons more stuff coming out very soon. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.